Hey guys, it's Dr. Robonix64. This is part 21 of my playthrough of Pokemon Emerald. So in the last part, we caught the three legendary Golem Pokemon of Hoenn, which were Regirock, Regiice, and Registeel. So now, well, as you can see, I'm in this place. Now, the reason I'm in this place is because I have to go to this place to progress through the story. Now, once again, I have a bit of explaining to do. Well, off screen, I think, before I recorded part I think either part 19 or 20, I actually dove underwater somewhere around Route 126 or 127. I don't remember which one it was exactly, but I came across what appeared to be an entrance to what I thought was a cave, but I actually found what appeared to be a submarine. Now when I checked the submarine, it said, well, Team Aqua must have went, to sh went up ashore here. So yeah, we have to go here in this seafloor cavern, it's called, in order to progress through the main story. Now, I've already defeated some of these some of these guys off screen. So basically, that girl over there was a rematch with Shelly, and that other guy was just another Team Aqua Grunt. I already defeated them though. So we're continuing on here. There were some other Team Aqua Grunts as well. Now, I actually didn't understand the Seafloor Cavern at first because there appeared to be like entrances to other parts of the cavern, but it actually took me back out to the main entrance of the Seafloor Cavern. Like, I didn't understand it at all. Like, how could it have taken me back there? Because it was at a different location in the cavern. But I don't know. Let me just try to figure out this puzzle here. I'm using some of my HM Slave Pokemon, like Relicanth, for instance. Um, okay. I have to try to do this without messing it up, because if I mess it up, then I'm going to have to start it all over again. And actually, let me... Am I all out of Max Repels? I think I am. Well, I'm not out of regular repels. I guess it's better than, I guess it's better than anything. Yeah, and I also waste, I also wasted a lot of my money on uh, Ultra Balls because trying to catch Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. Got some of it back by battling those trainers, however. Now I gotta figure it out here. Okay, let's try experimenting. To the left. What happens if I push that over there? And over there? Oh, there we go. Alright, well that was pretty... That was easier said than none, so... Continuing on, we got Earthquake. An amazing TM to have, uh, if I do say so myself. And actually... Should I learn that to one of my Pokémon that I have right now? I'm obviously not gonna teach it to Relicanth, though. I'm only using it as an HM slave, really has no effect on flying foes. 100, 110. Alright, let me see here. Who can learn this, I wonder? Okay, Gyarados is able to learn it, apparently. Blaziken's able to learn it. Uh, yeah, Relicanth's able to learn it, but I'm not teaching it to Relicanth, forget that. Did I teach this to Gyarados, actually? Let me, let me look here. Well, actually. Well, yeah, hold on. First of all, let me look at the moves that Gyarados currently has. It has Twister, Dive, Bite, and Dragon Rage, which always inflicts 40 HP damage. Well, I guess it, if it could use an if it could use a move that's that doesn't affect itself. But the only thing is that in a double battle, I think it hits your ally as well, which might not be too good. Okay, so now, let's see what moves Blaziken currently has. We've got Bulk Up, Blaze Kick, Double Kick, and Ember. Well, actually, I think I will keep Double Kick because Dark-type Pokemon, so... I guess probably I could teach it to Gyarados, maybe. Let me try it. Yeah, we got Dive, but Twister is honestly not really too good, to be honest. So it's only power 40. This is power 100. Man, let's replace it with Twister. I'll just do that. Now, 
One more thing before I continue on here. Do I, do I still have the experience share here? Or did I already give it to one, to one of my Pokemon here? No, it has the Mystic Water. Oh wait, I think one of the Pokemon. No, I think one of the Pokemon I had, I put it back in the. Uh... Yeah, I think I put it back in the uh, storage system. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's continue on over here. I can't really see what's going on. Oh. Okay, I'm definitely going to save right here because I I do know what happens here though, so. Alright. Okay, let's continue on. I already saved here. Let's go. And what is this? Hold it right there. F -f -f so it was you after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is the sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyogre. I've waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me if you managed to chase me here. But that's all over now. In the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. Alright, so. Battling Archie again. Let's do it. Alright, I think I still have some Hyper Potions. And I also have those Max Potions that I bought as well. And I think I still have Revive to stay alive and a Max Revive to stay even more alive, so... Yeah, but I have, don't have too many uses on Surf left, unfortunately, but, oh well. Yeah, okay. And use a scary face. Alright. If real speed harshly fell. And he's using a Super Potion, could have figured. Probably he can only use two of those, I'm assuming, though. I don't think this is going to get rid of it. Well, almost. And it's using Swagger. Of course, probably a, it only has one HP left. I'm probably not going to be able to attack it no matter what I do. Never mind. Dead. Or fainted. I don't. I really cannot care. You're using Crobat. All right. Well, I'm still confused actually. So. Well, probably after this, I'm going to try to level up some of my other Pokemon off-screen. Let me see if I can do this. Air Cutter? Darn. Okay, that didn't do too much. Wow, it snapped out of confusion. Good. Meow. Okay, hold on. He's using another Super Potion. Okay. I could have figured it was going to use Confuse Ray. Come on, it doesn't have a lot of HP left. And sure enough. This is why I have the Hyper Potions. And sure enough. You know what, I don't even care anymore. Come on. Wow, okay. Thought I was actually gonna die there. Or Tentacruel, I mean. I know I keep saying die, I know it's supposed to be Pokemon Fainted, but... There's like tons of other RPG games that actually say like die, so... I become too used to it, to be honest. Alright. This is his last Pokemon, then. Actually, how about I try to use Hyper Beam? Yeah, Screech. See if I can use Hyper Beam. Oh, no, wait, what? I'm still confused? Oh, well, I was still able to use Hyper Beam anyway, forget you. Kaboom. What will that do to it, I wonder? Uh. Oh, it takes it out, good. Alright, very good, then. And that's it for Archie. What? I lost to a mere child like you! Yes, you did. Deal with it. Fa fa fa! I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But, I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre... The red orb suddenly began shining by itself. Kaboom. What? I didn't do anything. Why did the red orb... Where did Kyogre go? Hmm? It's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm? It's raining heavily. 
Good, that should have happened. That is why we awaken Kyogre, to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned. You're in danger. That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. And why am I hearing static in the background? There's something wrong. The Red Orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? What have you wrought? You finally awoke in Kyogre, haven't you, Archie? What will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in the deepening sea. Well, what? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated Groudon? So long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you've wrought is the world that we desired. SCP-173, come on, you have to get out of here too. And we're just teleported. Uh-oh, what's going on? What happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. SCP-173, don't say anything. I know I have no right to be critical of Archie, but the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. This defies belief. The super ancient Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. SCP-173, what's happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, this deluge began. If this doesn't stop all of Hoenn, no, the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Sutopolis. When the world is taking place there. There's no point arguing here. Sutopolis might provide answers. SCP-173, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Alright then. Do I still have the effects of my repel here, I wonder? Yep. Yeah. I'm probably going to get into the water and it's just going to go away. Called it. Hmm. What could possibly be going on here? Am I, am I even going the right way, I wonder? Well, repels effect already wore off. Well, no, this is Moss Deep. Well, wait, I have to get to Sutopolis, so... Hold on a second, I'm clicking buttons all over the place. Well, actually, can I still heal, I wonder? Oh yeah, everything's all normal in the Pokemon Center, apparently. You selfish jerks. Can't you see the world's about to end out here? I, I don't even know anymore. There's a huge crisis going on. Could spell the end for mankind. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, and of course. Okay. I don't know, I'm just being stupid here. I'm going the wrong way, I know. What's in here? I got a big pearl, alright. At least we're finding some more items here. I don't have any repels left, unfortunately. I believe this is it, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, anyway. We gotta go to Sutopolis. So, are we here? Yeah, okay, cutscene. And there they are. I have no idea what the heck they're crashing into. I guess an invisible wall or something. How you doing? Can't do anything with them, of course. How you doing? Those Pokemon fighting Groudon and Kyogre. The two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep, and now they're smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. SCP-173, you being here now, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well then there's someone I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Okay. Listen, SCP-173, the scene ground on in Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really more... Why am I asking you this? You already know. 
some pretty strong lightning. Extremely bright. Okay. And, and of course I get interrupted during a cutscene. Okay, here we are. Inside here you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. Okay. This is the cave of origin, apparently. Fine, let's go and help Wallace, then. Alright. And once again, I hear only stat... I don't know, I guess this is like Pokemon Emerald's answer to silence, or the Game Boy Advance's answer to silence. Just very slight white noise. Ah, so you're SCP-173. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name's Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Sutopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor, Juan, with the gym's operation. Grana and Kyogre, these two Pokemon wrecking havoc here are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there, but there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There is one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It's said that it was Rayquaza that beconned the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. SCP-173, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. Now, I do know that you're supposed to say the Sky Pillar, but let's just see what happens when he says the uh, other... When he... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I know it's the Sky Pillar, but let's just see what happens if we say the Cave of Origin. Cave of Origin, but that's right there. I need you to do better than that. Please, I need you to think about where Rayquaza might be right now. Mount Pyre? When I met the old lady there earlier, she made no mention of it. I very much doubt the old lady would try to hide something from me. You think about this more carefully for me. The Sky Pillar. That's it. It must be the Sky Pillar. SCP-173 does not have a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. Goodbye. And he uses his teleportation device. Great. Alright, guess we have to go back out then. Really? Really? Okay, I did not know there were Zubats in here, and these animations are taking way too long. Go home and die, the end. The Sky Pillar. I'd never been there. I wonder where it could be. A person with a strong will and superior talent, trainer's knowledge and experience of many kinds of Pokemon. If such a person were, were to appear, I was instructed by Wallace to lay that trainer to his cave. Alright, bye. Alright, the Sky Pillar then. So where could the Sky Pillar be exactly? And what? And actually, what's going on over here? What are you doing, Maxi? Right on, please stop what you're doing. I know the extent of your power. Now, if you keep going, I'll hoe and not just Sutopolis will be utterly ruined. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here. It's the Red Oracle, not Kyogre. It's no good at not responding at all. Alright. What the heck's Wallace, then? No, I didn't want to go into the Pokemon Center. Can't go up here. Okay, so then let me look at my Pokenav then. Does it make any mention of the Sky Pillar somewhere? Or does it not? Probably not. And where could the Sky Pillar be? Okay, I don't think it... Okay. Well, I highly doubt it's going to say, so hold on. Alright, so the Sky Pillar is right here, then. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm having to look up some stuff in order to figure out where the heck I should be going, but... Like I said, can't automatically know what to do in a game. Does it actually tell you where the Sky Pillar is? No. It doesn't tell you that it's on Route 131. No, it doesn't. Anyway, we're here now, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Let's just continue on with the game. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice I left you behind. You jerk. I've opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. SCP-173, let's be on our way. It's an earthquake. There's not a moment to waste. We got to hurry. Yeah, they're hurrying, and yet they're just walking. Hmm, the situation's getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion's spreading even here. SCP-173, Rayquaza should be farther up from here. I'm worried about Sutopolis. I've got to go back. Everything's in your hands now. Don't fail us. Alright, we have the Sky Pillar then. Let's do it. Really? 
And it's a gold bat, of course. Okay, well, you know what? I am using playing this on an emulator, so you know what? I'm just gonna speed this up. I honestly could care less now. Alright, what is this then? Because I don't have any repels left, and I kind of want to save my money here. Okay, wait a second, where am I going? Down here? Oh. No, hold on, I think this is the correct way to go. I think. Okay. Oh, of course, it's a Sableye. Eye. You mock me with a Sableye. Eye. Okay, I'm just speeding up the emulation here because it's like, when I get to, like, the entrances, they... They just, like, get me, but here we go. This is it right here. The Awakened Rayquaza flew off. So now, we have to actually fly back to Sutopolis. So let's do just that, then. I do know that about it. All right. gonna happen now then. Okay then. Looks like everything's returned back to normal then. Let's go talk to them here. Pear and Granon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. Ha uh, ha. Uh, maybe what we were trying to do was something small, even meaningless, the Pokemon. So the super ancient Pokemon weren't only Groudon and Kyogre. After all, our fruitless scheming and frantic efforts, that one Pokemon's simple action puts everything right again as if nothing had happened. Ha uh, uh, ha ha. Oh, and he's gone. SCP-173, my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Sutopolis. No, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift from me. Please accept it. HM-07. Now, what is that exactly? Waterfall. If you have the Rain Badge, a Pokemon that's learned an HM move can force its way up waterfalls. And where does one get the Rain Badge? You know, don't you? That's right, you have to be the Sutopolis Gym Leader. When you're all set to go, step through that door. It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone to Mount Pyre to return these orbs. Alright then, so... Looks like the world's not coming to an end after all. But yeah, so this is basically the final gym here in Tutopolis. And the gym leader here, which is Juan, uses water-type Pokémon. And actually, I don't remember this ladder ever being here. Oh. I know this is a water-type Pokémon gym, though. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound SCP-173? Sutopolis' gym leader, Juan, is a master of water-type Pokémon. To get the wand and icy floor will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's all the advice I have for you. The rest of the way, you have to go for it yourself. So, um, I think that might be a good stopping point for now, so I think probably in the next part, uh, we'll go take on the, uh, final gym then. The, uh, gym leader of Sutopolis City. So, yeah. And I believe this is a city anyway, so... So yeah, we'll take him on in the next part, though, and get our final gym badge. Then we can make our way to defeat the Elite Four, I guess. So yeah. All right then. So anyway, this is Dr. Robotnik64. Thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or maybe subscribe. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. The link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one. So yeah. But that's it for now. So we'll see you guys in the next video I make. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the game now. All right then. Later.